what chance do you give the Eagles to win the division now? Not a very good one. I like the Cowboys in the NFC East. You look at these schedules. The Cowboys, well, let, let's start with the Eagles. Okay. They're on the road against Dallas, who's white hot right now, and just beat the Saints, and whose defense really looks good, and whose coaches are coaching for their jobs. They're, finding the, they're handing the ball to Zeke, mm -hmm. and Dak is making plays. They're really firing on all cylinders. I don't think their ceiling is extremely high, mm -hmm. but that's a good, very good team right now. Then the Eagles are at the Rams. Uh. Then they host the Texans, who are white hot. Then they're at Washington. When I look at that schedule, I think that looks, if things break right for the Eagles, it could be 2-2. Two and two. If they really overachieve 3-1, and one, then I look at Dallas' schedule. Eagles, they're hosting. Yep. At Colts, who just lost, got shut out by the Jags. Uh -huh. Bucks, they host. At Giants. Yeah, way easier. I mean, it, it, you go 2-2 two and two there, at least. You're thinking 3-1, and 2-2. Two and two. So if they each go 2-2, two and two, the, Eagle, the, the Cowboys win the division. Yeah. The, Ca the Eagles would really have to overachieve here, and the Cowboys would have to underachieve in order for the Eagles to win the division. The one X factor is Carson Wentz, uh -huh. who's a talented enough player to make things happen that shouldn't happen in a way that, that, that Dak is not, I believe. But I don't think that's enough. I think the Cowboys are a better team right now, yep. and I think they have the easier schedule, and they will win the NFC East. And let me add one more thing. Their secondary is decimated, right. the Eagles. Well. The Eagles, the only thing, the only thing keeping me from saying the Eagles are dead and buried is that they have one last gasp. They can take one deep breath that might, just might save their season. And that gasp of breath will sound something like <gasps> Jason Garrett, something like that. That's the only thing that can save the Philadelphia Eagles. Max just pointed out they're going to have to go 3-1, and one. have to go 3-1. and one. It's going to be a race to who gets to 9-7 and seven in the NFC East. And for the Eagles to get there, they'll have to go to 3-1. and one. But it's not just going 3-1. and one. They're going to have to start this weekend. They have to start in Dallas on a short week coming off Monday Night Football. They have to beat the Cowboys because if the two teams are tied at 9-7, and seven, the team with the divisional tiebreaker is going to go. And the winner of this game will determine that. They're both 3-1 and one in division right now. So the Eagles are down to that last that last sucking sound, that breath that's going to save them. And the only way I can see that happening with the Cowboys in the firm driver's seat, a formula to win, a defense that's championship level, is for Jason Garrett to, just like in the Texans game, or at multiple points this year, to, to flinch, to clinch up, to, to kick a field goal when you know you need a touchdown, to not go forward on fourth down when you have to win the ball game. That mentality, that, that protect the lead mentality, that play not to lose mentality could actually save the Eagles. Otherwise, they're dead. They're buried. As you point out, Molly, their secondary is decimated. They just mm -hmm. beat Mark Sanchez. Let's not Cowboys overreact. They, be, yeah. <laughs> they beat Colt McCoy and Mark Sanchez. Let's not act like they've got it you together. Look at how bad Jason Garrett is. Look at how scared the Cowboys fan still is. <laughs> Look at the way the Cowboys are playing, the way the Eagles are playing, and you're sitting there scared your coach is going to blow it, and you're right. He might. He's being I'm a realist. in the realist. business of being right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting, Will Kane, because I mean, the fact that you just said what you said it makes my argument on behalf of the Eagles. And that's why I love listening to y'all. I wish you had kept talking because I really have nothing to add. The fact of the matter is, is that I get to sit here and wait for the collapse. What's my favorite saying, Will, about your Cowboys? What can go wrong will go wrong. Just wait. Take your time. Just sit back and watch. And the fact that we're talking about the Cowboys in a fashion that we're talking about them is what's pleasing to me, y'all. Because I watched the Eagles last night on Monday Night Football. I was not impressed with what I saw from the Eagles against the Washington Redskins. So right. Colt McCoy gets hurt. Yeah. Mark Sanchez, Mr. Butt Fumble himself, who hadn't thrown a hadn't thrown a pass in damn near two years, lines up at the line of scrimmage at the 10-yard line. Who the hell doesn't know that they're gonna run the football? Swartz and the, the Eagles. Eagles defense. That's who. And they give up a 90-yard touchdown run to Adrian Peterson. Why is this relevant? The man had nine carries for 98 yards on the day. That means the only other, yard than the 90 yard, other than the 90-yard run, he had eight carries for eight yards. But the Eagles gave up a 90-yard run. Trying to do the math. What is that? Okay. Eight carries, the, eight yards. One yard. Per, one yard. Oh, one yard. Okay, got there it. Got we go. So, so, you got that, okay. so you got that going on, right? And then you look at the Eagles, and I can tell you this, though. I like Carson Wentz. I love the fact that he seems to be developing, developing and elevating his chemistry with Golden Tate, targeted seven times, had caught all seven passes for about 83 yards or so. I'm liking that because Golden Tate, that blue-collar kind of worker, 
fits into the Philly mode, and I think that's going to help the combination of him and Zach Ertz. I think it's beneficial. Make no mistake about it. The Eagles got 10 defensive players on IR, yeah. including four of your cornerbacks, the one of them being Jalen Mills. Bang what bang. I'm saying to you is this. Based on how they have looked, that stupid running play that they gave up to Adrian Peterson, imagining what if that were Ezekiel Elliott, they might have had 300 yards rushing last night. That gives me cause to pause and say, damn it, these Eagles, they're finished. Until I listen to all this bantering about the Cowboys. And then I say to myself, excuse me, prosperity and the Dallas Cowboys do not go in the same sentence. The more they talk about them, the more they talk about how they're going to win the division, the more you bloviate about how, what the potential is for them, they will mess it up. So it's they good when you're the do. underdog and you have nothing no, to lose against they the Saints. Up in the playoffs. But, now, but now that you're going against the Eagles, I'm holding out hope, Will, only because they play each other next week, and I think the Eagles season is obviously on the line. It's not just yes. good enough for them to win three or four. They have to beat the Cowboys That's next correct. week.